Today I'm going to work with butternut squash. It's a, a vegetable that's a little bit misunderstood about all the different possibilities for it, but I'm going to show you a couple today that I think are really delicious and simple. First thing I do is I take the stem with the back of my knife and just kind of knock that off of there. Then I'm going to go in in two parts. I'm going to cut the top part here all the way down through and cut the bottom part through. What you don't want to do is try and get up here like this and be uneasy and then try and cut, you'll cut your fingers off. All I have to do for my one recipe is get rid of the seeds and that's pretty darn simple, just like a pumpkin. And I'm going to put it on a pan and into the oven to roast, plain and simple. While my radicchio is cooking, I'm gonna take my other side of the squash and I'm gonna go like this. And we're just gonna peel it. And it can be a little tough. You gotta to press hard on your peeler. And then you just keep going all the way around. Just work your way around it. As soon as you get that hard exterior out, you're pretty much done. So for this, I'm gonna cut it up because I'm just making little uh, squash chunks, right? So I'm gonna go boom, boom, and then nice little squash chunks. And basically, I'm gonna slow saute these in a little butter. So that's what I end up with here, right? And once this is tender, we just want to finish it. We're going to make a little sage butter for it. So fresh sage, just pick off some leaves. And remember, uh, when your herbs cook, they lose a lot of their floral. So you want to use quite a bit. We're going to put, take a little nutmeg. And with my fine grater, we're just going to put a little nutmeg over top. And the same thing with some lemon zest. Very fall, very winter-esque. And then, because of the richness of the butter, I'm gonna hit it with just a touch of red wine vinegar. Look how pretty that is, huh? This feels like fall. And now we're gonna finish our other squash. You know, there's so many ways you could use this. Uh, I'm gonna take it right out of the shell and make a salad. It's so soft at this point, right? Right, just kind of mash it up for your salad and it becomes a base for your salad. From there, I'm gonna take my grilled radicchio and we're going to slice that up a bit. Radicchio is nice and bitter and my squash is nice and sweet. And that's what I'm going for is that combination of bittersweet. So I'm going to finish this with a little bit of burrata right on top and then a little vinaigrette, your favorite. This is the little mustard vinaigrette. And that, my friends, is two easy ways to use butternut squash in your fall winter menus. Thanks, Chef, and happy holidays. If you would like to get the foodie in your life the perfect gift, you might consider cooking classes at the Hot Stove Society. They have them year-round.